Okay, in today's video, we're going to be relating hundreds and decimals. This is our second part. So in the first video, we modeled hundreds, fractions as hundreds. So today we're gonna take a look at some mixed numbers and model them with hundreds as well as a decimal. So here's our problem. Alicia won her 400 meter freestyle race by four and 25 hundredths seconds. How can you write this mixed number as a decimal? So we're gonna be writing this mixed number, it's a whole number in a fraction, and we're gonna be writing it as a decimal. Okay, so one way is we're gonna um, use a model and a place value chart. So we're gonna shade to show the model four and 25 hundredths. Okay, four and 25 hundredths. That means I need to shade in four holes. I have four in my ones place. I need to shade in four whole numbers. All right, so that's one hole, two, three, four, four whole, four ones, and 25. So let's see, that's 10, 20, and one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So that is how I can show this. Four and 25 hundredths. And how I can use my place value chart four and 25 hundredths, four holes, four ones, two tenths, because look at this. This is a tenth, this whole row, right? One tenth, two tenths, two tenths, and only five hundredths. Okay, I can count this whole row here, there's 10 of them, and that's a tenth, and this is another tenth. So I have two tenths, and then just five hundredths remaining. So when I fill out my decimal point, I or my place value chart, four, it's my whole number, two tenths, and five hundredths, or you can think 25 hundredths, ending in the hundredths place. So I write four decimal point two five, but I read it as four, and 25 hundredths. Oops, hundredths. All right, let's take a look at our number line. So this number line starts at the number four and ends at the number five because we know that our fraction that we're looking at is has four as our whole number. It's greater than four, but it's less than five. And here they've put it here on our number line. We have four and ten hundredths, four and twenty hundredths, four and thirty hundredths, but twenty-five comes in between twenty and thirty. Put it right here. So I can write this as four and ten hundredths, four and twenty hundredths, four and thirty hundredths, four and forty hundredths. We don't want to label every single tick mark on our number line. That would take us forever to do. So that's why they counted by tens. We end with five. So here, four and 25 hundredths names the same amount as four and 25 hundredths. So Alicia won her race by four and 25 hundredths seconds. On today's lesson for, the, your, for today's classwork, you're going to be doing the same. You're going to be shading in a mixed number were a fraction to go along with the problem. So here it has 31 hundredths. How can you write it as a decimal? How can you shade it? How can you put it into your place value chart? Here it's going to give you, um, here is our model. You're going to write it as a fraction and a decimal. Fraction and decimal. Fraction and decimal. This dot right here, it's kind of hard to see it, 
but for your number line, you're going to find where this dot is, and you're going to write it as a fraction, and you're going to write it as a decimal. Okay? Then the same thing, look, the blue dots are hard to find on the number line, so make sure you look at them very carefully. And then you're going to do the same. On this page, the black dot is a little bit easier to see. Fraction and decimal, just like this. And then down here, it gives you the fraction or the mixed number, and you're going to just write the decimal point. And there are two uh, word problems to do as well. 